everybody, welcome to For Drummers Only. As always, I'm East Coast Pete. Today we're going to talk about Ansley Dunbar. He was born in 1946 in Liverpool. He's drummed with a cast of thousands, including Nils Lofgren, Eric Burden, John Mayle, Frank Zappa, Ian Hunter, Lou Reed, Jefferson Starship, Jeff Beck, David Bowie, Mick Ronson, White Snake, Pat Travers, Sammy Hagar, Michael Schenker, the Scorpions, UFO, Flo and Eddie, Leslie West, Keith Emerson, Herbie Mann, and he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Journey in 2017. You know, he was almost in the Jimi Hendrix experience. It was between Ansley and Mitch Mitchell. The rumor is that Jimi flipped a coin. Dunbar then joined John Mayall's Blues Breakers in 1966. And then in 67, he was replaced by Mick Fleetwood. The Ansley Dunbar retaliation was created to piss off John Mayall, who had fired Dunbar. There were four albums and Dunbar wrote the song Warning, which was on Black Sabbath's first album. Dunbar formed the prog band Blue Whale. In 1970, he sought to recruit Robert Fripp since King Crimson was breaking up but Fripp wanted to recruit Dunbar for a new band, a new and improved King Crimson, but neither happened. Dunbar joined Frank Zappa, the mother's invention in 1971. He appeared in the movie 200 Motels, a movie about the mothers. This was the mother's second lineup featuring Mark Volman and Howard Kalin, the fluorescent leech and Eddie. Jimmy Black was with Captain Beefheart at that time, but he also played himself in 200 motels. He then joined Whitesnake for two years. Oh, sorry, not Jimmy Black. Ansley Dunbar joined Whitesnake for two years. He then joined Journey for their first four albums. And here are the albums with Journey. Journey in 75, Look Into the Future in 76, Next in 77, Infinity in 78. Prior to that, here are the albums with John Mayall, Blues Breakers, One, A Hard Road, 67, Looking Back, in 69, So Many Roads, in 69, and Through the Years, in 71. And here are the albums with his own Ansley Dunbar Retaliation. Ansley Dunbar Retaliation in 68, Dr. Dunbar's Prescription to Mum from Ansley and the Boys in 69, and remains to be heard in 70. With Jefferson Starship, three albums, Freedom at Point Zero, Two Modern Times, and Three Winds of Change. And here are the albums with the mothers Chunga's Revenge in 70 Fillmore East in 71 200 Motels in 71 that's the soundtrack just another band from LA in 72 Waka Joe Waka in 72 Apostrophe in 74 Playground Psychotics in 92 Carnegie Hall 2011, Finer Moments in 2012, and don't forget, 
the Grand Wazoo. It's kind of hard to forget the Grand Wazoo. With UFO, he was on two albums, Covenant in 2000 and Sharks in 2002. And then, as a solo effort, his album Mutiny in 08. Let's go back to the time with David Bowie. It's on three albums. Aladdin Sane in 73, Pin Ups in 73, and Diamond Dogs in 74. And with Mick Ronson, Slaughterhouse on 10th Avenue, put out in 74, and Play Don't Worry, put out in 75. And finally, what I have anyway is with Nils Lofgren, the album Nils Lofgren in 75, and Cry Tough in 76. Now, I mentioned Fluorescent Leech and Eddie. Um, I'm not sure if I've already put out a, a show about them on Midrock Crisis. If not, I'll probably do so. And tell you what, I'll save any information I have about Flo and Eddie for that time. Safe to say I did uh, meet Mr. Ansley Dunbar when he played at the RISD Refectory with um, Flo and Eddie. Long time ago, folks. Anyway, thank you for being with me on For Drummers Only. I'll come back and be with you as soon as I very much can. And uh, by the way, take good care.